So in this next tutorial, I'm going to be talking about aligning the jet. Now, if you are working with CIJ, Continuous Inject, uh, for any length of time, uh, maybe on a daily basis, weekly basis, or maybe even servicing them, uh, then you will at some point in time have to align a jet. Uh, a lot of people are afraid of this uh, only because it's very fine tuning and uh, it can get messy if not done properly. So um, I'm going to show you how to do it properly, uh, the procedure for it, and hopefully at the end of the tutorial you'll have a better idea. Uh, one thing with this though is practice. There's uh, no substitute for uh, actually getting the screwdrivers out and uh, aligning it yourself and doing, doing the job yourself. Uh, and learning how much pressure you put on the screwdriver uh, to align that jet up. So, um, show you how to do it step by step. Um, and first of all, I'm going to show you the tools that you need for doing this job. Okay, so we'll start off at the back. Um, obviously, because we're going to be uh, adjusting the jet, um, if that jet does miss the return gutter, then it is possible um, that uh, it's going to make a mess. So uh, the, the beaker and the wash bottle, make sure the wash is uh, the right wash for what your, the ink type that you're using. Uh, PPE gear, very important, safety glasses and uh, the uh, latex gloves. Um, if you don't have the cleaning station, then I would recommend getting a little vise here. Uh, this one I got from Amazon. Um, it has the uh, rubber jaws which are nice and useful when you're clamping down onto the print head so you don't damage the head. Uh, but it also has a nice little suction cup plate uh, that um, secures the vise down to a bench. Um, so that, that's a nice bit of kit. Uh, and then obviously the uh, screwdrivers. Now all you'll need is a Phillips head screwdriver and a flat screwdriver. Um, some people do better with small ones, some people do better with bigger ones. Uh, that's down to preference. And lastly, um, we need a small flashlight. Um, I use the LED type flashlight, gives a nice strong beam. And most importantly, an eyeglass. Uh, you're gonna need to be able to see the jet uh, through the eyeglass to see where you've aligned it. So now we've got the tools ready. Uh, I think we're ready to uh, make a start. There are two main reasons why uh, you may need to adjust the alignment. Uh, one is that part of the message is missing, and I'll show you that now. So if we look at this message, um, you can see that at the bottom here on the text, um, part of the message is missing. Okay, that we call that clipping. So basically what's happening is that the uh, jets, the dots that should be going onto the product are actually hitting the return gutter and catching the edge. This means that the alignment is too far over uh, in the return gutter. And then the other reason that you would need to align the jet is if the jet is um, missing uh, the return gutter altogether and, and just making a mess in the, in the bottom of the print head on the faceplate and around the gutter. Uh, typically you see this on startup and shutdown. So if your jet is making a big mess on startup or shutdown, then typically this is an alignment issue and the jet is not quite in the right place. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and show you how to uh, align these up and uh, we should be uh, good to go after that. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, move the print head into the um, cleaning station and take the uh, cover plate off so that we can get access to the print head. I'm going to go ahead and uh, remove this bracket, get it out of the way. So if we take a closer look at the print head now, uh, we can see walking the way through it, we can see that we have the drop generator here. This is what's creating the droplets uh, with a piezo crystal. 
we have the phase uh, the charge electrode here we have the phase detect and if you look at the phase detect this is a, a little it should be copper color uh, we actually have this covered in ink um, this is usually a good detection that something's not right with the alignment uh, coming down to the deflection plates and then right at the bottom here we have the return gutter a very very a small hole uh, which the jet goes into and then sucks the ink back up uh, into the system. Um, so, like I said, when you start seeing uh, ink on the charge plates, on the uh, phase detect, uh, splattered around the, the gutter or the phase plate here, that's usually a good sign that something's not right with the alignment. So when we do align the jet, um, the jet has to be aligned in the two axes. Um, the first axis is um, up and down or closer to you, far away from you. And then the other axis is from left to right. So we're going to um, align the jet up, first of all, um, in the up and down uh, orientation. Now to do that, I'm going to release this little uh, no nut here at the top take that out and then when we take that out we can actually take the print head and rotate it through 90 degrees um, counterclockwise and then put it back into the uh, cleaning station now what you'll see here now is this here is the alignment screws for um, moving the jet now up and down okay this way if you look at the tip of the screwdriver we're lining it now from left to right because we've rotated the head through 90 degrees so here we have uh, two Phillips head screws here and here and then in the middle is a flat head screw and what we're going to be doing one of these is uh, this top one here is on a slot um, and then this one is a fixed hole. So all we're going to do is um, release this one on the slot and then get a larger screwdriver here and move this. So the body of the drop generator uh, moves this way and this way. And then at the bottom here, we can actually see where the jet goes in with an eyeglass and see that it's uh, in the middle of the hole from left to right now. So with a Phillips screwdriver, I'm going to go in and just release this screw. Don't release it too much. Just literally loosen it a little bit like that. Um, not even a quarter of a turn, maybe an eighth of a turn. Just so it's slightly loose, but there is a little bit of resistance. Then I'm going to get the flat bladed screwdriver, stick that in that slot and just rotate it whichever way you want the jet to move so if you want it to move left you're going to turn this screw, flat screwdriver to the right if you want it to move right then you're going to turn it to the left just minute turns um, literally all you're doing is putting a little bit of pressure on that flat screw uh, to move the body of the drop generator here um, either left or right to move the uh, the jet underneath and then once we've got that, we've looked at it with an eyeglass and the jet is in the center of that hole, then we can go ahead and get the Phillips screwdriver again and just in that top screw again, just lock that down in place like that. Don't over tighten it. Uh, very easy to strip that, the, uh, strip the uh, uh, Phillips head. Uh, so the screwdriver doesn't fit properly, so don't over tighten it So once we've done that now the jet is in the center of the hole down here So we're going to turn it back through 90 degrees And I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, the null screw back in so it comes down and rests in there If you're using the uh, the regular vise you won't need to take this screw out the only reason I'm taking the screw out is because it doesn't actually fit in the housing um, the other way around. So now we've adjusted the uh, jet alignment uh, vertically. Um, so the jet alignment is in the center of the gutter hole. 
we now need to adjust it um, horizontally from, from left to right. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to raise the print head up out of the cleaning station just a little bit. With the Phillips screwdriver, we're going to unlock the uh, locking screw. Literally just not even an eighth of a turn. So after we have loosened the uh, locking screw, we can get the flat bladed screwdriver in the cam and gently tweak the cam until we see the jet start to move from left to right. So a tip on this, if you rotate the flat bladed screwdriver clockwise, then the jet will travel to the left. If you rotate the screwdriver counterclockwise, then the jet will move from left to right. So the correct positioning of the jet into the gutter is that the jet needs to be right the way over to the left hand side of the return gutter hole. So the correct jet alignment in the gutter return hole is vertically is 50% in the hole. When we look horizontally, we need to be in the uh, closer to 10-15% um, towards the left hand side of the edge of the gutter hole. And the final part, once we've uh, looked through the eyeglass and determined that the jet is in the correct place, both horizontally and vertically, is just to go ahead and use the Phillips screwdriver. And we are going to lock this screw in place so that it doesn't wander. Again, don't over tighten it. Very easy to, uh, to damage the head of that screw. Once everything is tight and in place, we can go ahead and mount the print head back into the uh, housing um, on the production line and do a quick print test and you should be back in production.